Good morning and welcome to the second meeting of the Solicitors and the Supreme Courts of Scotland Amendment Bill Commit uh, Committee in 2020. Today we will take consideration stage of the Bill. Consideration stage normally consists of considering consideration of objections first and then formal proceedings and amendments. In this instance, no objections were lodged. The promoters have suggested 11 amendments and I have lodged them all on the promoters' behalf. The committee will need to debate and decide on these amendments and also formally consider and agree the individual sections and long title of the bill. However, before it can do that, the committee is first required to screen the amendments to ensure that they do not adversely affect private interests. In that event, it might be necessary to defer the rest of the consideration stage until anyone who might be adversely affected had had an opportunity to make their views known. However, my view, based on the advice I have received from the clerks, is that none of these amendments adversely affect private interests. Do committee members agree? Could you indicate agreement by saying so? Are we nodding heads? Thank you very much. In that case, we can now turn to the disposal of the amendments. Any voting again would be required by nodding your agreement or saying your agreement. So I am now going to move on to the marshalled list. I call Amendment 1 in my name on behalf of the promoter. Amendment 1 is grouped with Amendments 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Amendments 1, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 address the Committee's recommendation at preliminary stage that the procedure set up in the Bill for winding up the Society be strengthened. We were concerned that, in a worst case, the procedures in the Bill may not be detailed or robust enough to manage any tensions over the disposal of the Society's assets should the Society one day have to be wound up. The Committee recommended that the Society's members be consulted as to how any property being distributed. Amendments 7, 8 and 9 now set a requirement that this consultation takes place, and that it occurs before the meeting where members would discuss a proposal to wind up the Society. The Committee also questioned whether the Bill should specify a quorum for certain meetings where key decisions about the Society would be made and whether a voting threshold should be considered. Amendments 1, 10 and 11 address this issue and ensure that a voting threshold must be set up for any decision to wind up the Society. I welcome these amendments proposed by the promoter and I am pleased to move Amendment 1 on the promoter's behalf. Does any other member wish to address this? No one is indicating it. The question therefore is, Amendment 1 be agreed to? Are we all agreed? But a nodding agreement. Thank you very much. This is very strange. But there we are. I call Amendment 2 in my name on behalf of the promoter. Amendment 2 is grouped with Amendments 5 and 6. Amendments 2, 5 and 6 are minor and technical amendments. Amendment 2 relates to the retitling of the Widows Fund as a Dependents Fund. Amendment 5 clarifies the type of general meeting a member created under a new form of membership is not entitled to participate in. And Amendment 6 makes the 1871 Act more consistent in terms of style. I move Amendment 2 on the promoter's behalf. Does any other member wish to address that? No member has indicated that. The question is, Amendment 2 be agreed. Are we all agreed? We are all agreed. Amendment 2 is therefore agreed. I call Amendment 3 in my name on behalf of the promoter. Amendment 3 is grouped with Amendment 4. Amendments 3 and 4 relate to the procedure for closing the Dependents Fund. In its preliminary stage report, the Committee noted that the Bill requires that the Society's members are notified in advance of any proposal to close the Dependents Fund completely. However, the Bill does not require annuitants or prospective annuitants to be notified. Amendments 3 and 4 therefore require that all annuitants and prospective annuitants be notified in advance of any decision to close the Dependents Fund completely. I believe these amendments will improve the bill, and I am pleased to move Amendment 3 on the promoter's behalf. Does any other member wish to address that? No member has indicated they do. Um, I therefore um, the question is that Amendment 3 be agreed to. Are we all agreed? We are agreed. Amendment is therefore agreed. Amendments 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 have all been previously debated. I move Amendments 4 to 11 on block. Does many member object a single question to be put on Amendments 4 to 11? No member objects. The question is, therefore, that Amendments 4 to 11 be agreed. Are we all agreed? 
Thank you. Members have indicated agreement. They are therefore agreed. The question is that section one be agreed to. Are we all agreed? We are all agreed. The question is that sections two to five be agreed to. Are we all agreed? Yes, thank you very much. We are all agreed. The question is that the long title be agreed to. Are we all agreed? Thank you. That ends consideration of the bill. As consideration of the bill is complete, this is very likely to be the final meeting of the committee, and the bill will now proceed to the final stage, which will take place in the chamber. I thank the promoters and members for their assistance and work on the bill, and I close this meeting. Thank you very much.